In the Season 2 finale, Barry created a time remnant to counteract the Magnetar that was going to destroy the multiverse. The remnant traveled fast enough to generate a pulse equal to the Magnetar to counteract it. I can calculate the speed at which Barry's time remnant was traveling by using the equation for kinetic energy to solve for velocity. In terms of kinetic energy, the Magnetar was stated to have more than enough power to destroy the Earth and would be even stronger if powered by both Zoom and Flash. That's what happens to Earth too. What happens in my body's space is this machine. That thing is powerful enough to destroy a planet? Oh, I just planted it as a power source. Like what? In a paper titled That's No Moon from a group of physics students at the University of Leicester, it would take 2.25 times 10 to the 32nd joules to destroy the Earth. For Barry's mass, thanks to the privacy invader known as the internet, I was able to find out that Grant Gustin weighs 75 kilograms. After plugging in all the values and solving for velocity, we can see that the flash went 8,170,618.297 times faster than light. Although I should note that going at the speed did dustify him, and you know, being dust is kind of bad. 